Hey everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classy Power App. This is the second video of this Power App code review tool topic. So in the previous video, we have installed that particular tool from the GitHub to our environment. And I will also explain you what are the prerequisites for that. So now in this video, we'll be ex start exploring that particular tool. Okay, so without wasting time, I'm just navigating to my screen. So here you might have remembered like this one, creator kit and the power app review. So power app, what is the name of that? It's something, it's not, not sure. Okay, whatever. Let's open it. And I have imported it as a type of uh, managed solution. Okay. So here I can see I have choices. That choices would be used in some tables some cloud flows cloud flows to send the emails for any reviews and for any other work as well some component libraries connection reference on which it has been installed custom apis and most important is a custom control because this solution is using some controls because of these controls you need to install that creator kit okay and there are so many things some tables are there some web resources are there and so many things so we'll first directly go to the apps because this is easy for us okay so now here i can see we have two app application one is the mod driven application and other one is the code canvas application so yes we can easily understand the mod driven application is something that would be handled by the admin members as the name itself means that code review admin and the another one is a code review tool that would be used by the users so that they can get the review for their application to which extent the coding standards are being followed in their applications okay so let me just first play the code review admin tool okay how can i play this okay we have the option to play from here so here this the application is okay this is the application so i can see it's a reviewing solution review okay so and later solution requests and the reviews how many review, reviews you get patterns so for the admins these are the most important things patterns and the customers customer is whose application you would like to get reviewed okay so if you like to submit any type of request to for your for any application that application should belongs to some customer so some customer should be there and second one is the pattern pattern here the actually the game plays this pattern is like it's a type of a checklist that would be used to check whether your application has succeeded or like passed the particular examination or failed so it's type of a checklist that needs to be checked for each application let's take an example so let me just show you how it is how it work if i just create a new pattern let me just take in the pattern we have one column which name is category if i just expand this category I can see so many options performance, maintainability, data security, accessibility, coding standards, something. It means pattern is type of a checklist that needs to be followed for each application in order to get the review. Okay. Each pattern can be pass, fail, or not applied. Okay. So let me create one pattern. So I can use the coding standard. And I'm using coding standard, I'm using delegation. For the delegation, whether I'm using the no coding standard is good okay. let's use the same name coding standards okay and the description also is check the coding standards c-a-n-d-a-r-d-s standards title again using the same code standards pattern type it's a pattern type so we can maximum time it would be automated you can set in manual as well and severity like how much that particular 
uh, pattern would have the impact in the particular review of the application. Okay, so whether you want it to be critical or high or medium, whatever. So let's make it for high. And the value value is its contribution in the overall review. Okay, that let's take an example. Let's say for any review, there, there is a hundred percent of hundred percent like a hundred percentage. Okay, in hundred percentage, how much is the contribution of this particular pattern? So let's say for this, I'm just using five. Okay, I can save it. Now, once I save it, I can see related. I can see the review resource, review app checker rules, and all the stuffs. So let me just create one more pattern so that I, we can check. One more pattern. Uh, this time I'm using the pattern of my, let's say, how much I have. Let's say for this I'm using performance. Okay. Performance. Performance description. Check the performance of the application. Application. Title performance check pattern type automated severity i want it to be critical i can't okay and the value i'm just giving it as five now as i save this i can see i have two different patterns whose contribution are five and five means equal contributions are there so if my application went under the under review and under examination i can if any one of get failed so it would have the half of the percentage okay so the i got the review as 50 percent review if i got the 100 percent review it would be like both are both are passed okay so this is type of uh my model driven application this would be used by the uh, admin members and i let me just create one customer for me let's say this is intern okay internal would be good no let's say use any other maybe classy save it okay so now you can also do the like you can also submit the review request from here as well but this is not mean to submit the reviews okay now coming back to my solution i have one more application which is a canvas it would be used to submit the review request Okay, so let me just try to play this if it can play or not. Let me play this application. And what I noticed in this version, it's keep on loading. Sometimes you will get that type of version that keeps on loading. Okay, so don't worry. What you can do, like I find this trick somewhere. What I have done, like uh, this application, its name is Power App Code Review Tool. I try to find that particular application in my default solutions. In my default solution, it's my name is Power App. Power App Code Review Tool. Mm -hmm. It's Power Apps, I guess. Power Apps code review tool hey this is my application so as it's a manage type but from default i can edit this okay so we can understand it's uh this foundation of this managed and unmanaged lies on inside the solution itself okay so now i can see still see that is keep on loading so i tried it in my side and the whole date was keep on loading so i find this this way which which made my work I was opening that application. It give you warning that it's uh, the manage type. So try to avoid opening it. I have opened that. And it will take little time. Okay. Let's keep on loading. Not sure. Okay, coming back. Okay, so now I can see in the play mode in the in the editor I can see it is working fine. So what I have done here at that time, please wait. 
I simply publish that save and publish that application. Okay, publish this version. I haven't done anything here. Okay, let me just check. That time I have done some things, but this time not doing anything. Okay, I've duplicated that one and coming to my home screen. And from the my home screen, I can get my apps. And from the app, I can maybe try to run this application one more time. It's again loading. Okay, I think I need to do something here. So it's a trick that I just telling you what you need to do. Just select something instead of reviews. I'm just making it review. Okay, later I'm just saving this. Uh, save, 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 save this. Okay, and then publish this version. Publish this version. It's not publishing, I guess something is happening. Make me a save, save, save. It's okay, it's loading. Let's let it load. Meanwhile, I can just try maybe the my previous version has been st started working or not. I'm just telling like this application, this system is still in the progress. So just for your knowledge, so that you won't think that the same uh, version you will also find at your end once you try to run it this. Refresh it one more time. One more time, refresh my browser. And now coming back. Okay, now try to fun, do it one more time. Play this. It should have started. Not sure some problem is coming at this time. Okay, let me just pause this video and just let you know. Okay, it won't take much time. 